Suppression repair is any activities that we perform during the firefight um, is typically a hasty movement. So at, at the end of the firefight, we come through and start mitigating some of the damages. Again, um, taking into consideration that um, the dozer lines have to shed water at some point. They have to regrow so that we don't have um, these, these dry uh, moonscaped hillsides um, so that they'll regrow the vegetation on top. So when we talk about suppression repair, there's the road repair in the middle, there's the dozer line on top, and then there's also the rehab of the, the lines that the crews have put. Keeping in mind that as the rain hopefully comes in this year, goes on top, the water's gonna come down. It has to cast one direction or the other. Otherwise you have big ruts that are formed in the ridge tops. So what we try to do under the direction of environmentalists we will have different bar, water bars that we put in, and it's to cast water off so that the water systems will filter through the natural vegetation that still remains so that we don't have any type of environmental impact from the soot and sediment that comes down the hills and clogs all of their waterways and different types of uh, habitat that's below that actual dozer line. When we come through and actually fight a fire, we're bringing heavy apparatus on all of these roadways that it tears it up a little bit. And so now we're trying to restore them back to as much as we can to where they were naturally. So we're gonna take rocks off of the roadway, we're gonna smooth them, make sure it's a, a good enough surface for hikers and bicyclists to enjoy the beautiful area. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. This area is uh, enjoyed by many. There's lots of different activities that go on out here in the, in the state park that uh, certainly we're mindful of. But what they're doing is they're bringing all of this shrubbery back in here, mixing it in, that also helps all the seeds from that come into here. Then when the rain will hit, it won't be such a harsh uh, landing, creating ruts on flat ground, but it'll dissipate and also help bring those seeds through and come back to more of its natural habitat and we'll bring the environment back to what it was.